As of the new year, residents visiting the downtown will pay a buck an hour to do so. As part of the ongoing core review, the proposed fee was approved by council, though not unanimously. It's been a hot button issue since council first opted to return pay parking to the downtown, but council went one step further by approving a rate for hourly parking in the core review, something Councillor Brian Skaken opposed. But what happened at council on Monday was a report coming back saying we want a dollar an hour parking from our administration and that will generate $350,000 a year. And I just thought that was too much. And if we're look, we shouldn't be looking at generating revenue. I mean, really, my preference would be for that money to go back down into uh, local businesses downtown. Returning meters in whatever form will cost the city, though at a dollar an hour, staff estimates revenues to the tune of $350,000 a year. Still, Councillor Lynn Hall reluctantly approved the rate. Uh, that reservation is still there, and I'm waiting to see what uh, administration bring back as far as uh, what that... <coughs> um, what the mechanics look like, how that system will run and operate, uh, but probably more importantly, what the dollar amount is going to be to, uh, to purchase and install it. Uh, so um, I'm still waiting to see that. This video was shot at 8.30 in the morning, half an hour before many of the downtown businesses open their doors. Hall says the meters may act as a deterrent to employees parking on the streets. And that's part of the piece that uh, I think is important to, to look at is it may very well at a dollar an hour that's uh, you know that's a couple bucks here and there uh, depending on how long they're going to park there. Right now we're seeing vehicles parked on the street they come out in a couple of hours and they move somewhere else uh, and take up another spot for two hours and the businesses quite frankly they don't like that. Skaken doesn't see it that way though he feels there's a gentler way of getting employees off the downtown streets than pay parking. Administration uh, perhaps needs to work with some of the downtown businesses and even the Downtown Business Improvement Association and say, look, I mean, if you want to have uh, free parking downtown, ensure that you provide enough parking for your employees and they don't take up some of these valuable spots. So, I mean, it, I think it's an educational thing. But, uh, you know, as far as a dollar an hour, I just think that's too steep. Other communities such as Kamloops, Vernon and Penticton all charge a dollar an hour. But Skaken says Prince George has to forge its own way. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.